That's dope, there's a beautiful view of the city there. Mm. Right, what's up everyone, back out here with another video, back out here in these London streets. What are you saying family, Wagwan? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, tired. So yes guys, we're out here in these London streets and we're actually walking through the ends, through the east end of London. We're in Bethnal Green right now and we're actually taking a walk up to Brick Lane, which is quite a famous lane with lots of curry shops, thrift stores, um, loads of stuff to see up there. So I'm gonna take you guys to Brick Lane, but also I wanna try this place it actually sells bagels. It's a 24 seven bagel place and they do the famous salt beef bagels. So, so guys, make sure you stay tuned for some visuals. This is gonna be a good video. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the East End of London. I'm sure it's worth you guys sticking around for I'm actually back in London. The last video was in London on another weekend, back in London again. We might as well live here in it, right? Or... Yeah. No. But yeah, guys, if you could just like, comment and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that, especially hit that sub button, guys. Hit that sub button. I've only got 1,500 subs, guys. guys I need I'm them gonna, subs, bro. And guys, go to my channel and subscribe. So I think before we do anything, I want to get a cup of coffee. And there's a place across the road called, I can't really say the name of the place because it's actually, there's an expletive in the title. So, you know, I still want to try and keep it PG-30. And I might show you guys the sign, though. But, yeah, I need to get a cup of coffee first before we start the day. Because it is early. It's Sunday. I need my coffee fix. Before we go any further... I've got another video coming out next, which is something a little bit different. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it, but I've tried something new. I've actually had a different guy film it and produce it. Um, basically, I've been working with Papa and Alex Kitchen, which is a seafood oil place, a seafood and soul food. Um, and they've actually hooked us up with an ASMR mukbang video, which is something I've never done before. So they've encouraged, obviously, all of the eating noises, like the slurping sound. So I don't know how you guys are going to feel about that. I don't really know how I'm going to feel about it, but... I'm going to try it, it's new for the channel, the food was amazing, so look out for that video next time guys, and let me know what you think of it. Anyway, we're just crossing over and we're going to get coffee. So this is where I'm going guys for my morning coffee fix. I got you something Aurora, alright? Got you a little, a little present from this coffee shop. What is it? What is it? Show you the camera. Pooplets. Wow. Pooplets for my little pooplet. Is that good? <laughs> Polar flavour candy. So I got my cup of coffee. It's 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 kind of uh, it's kind of offensive, I know, but I wanted to try it. It's like something different. So basically, this coffee is called another bad word that I shouldn't say on YouTube, a ish storm, basically. And I didn't really quite know what I was ordering, but apparently there's four shots of espresso in this. Um, and actually, it is a lot, yeah. And I had to ask for some... You don't think I should drink this? Sharon doesn't think I should have four shots of espresso. Um, yeah, not in one hit. But I did actually ask for some warm milk with it. So I thought it was just a normal coffee, but with like a strong coffee, but... Isn't that dangerous for your heart? I don't know, is, is caffeine bad for your heart? I don't think it's yeah, bad for your heart. That, that much in one hit, stop it. You what do you guys think? Should I, should I drink this? Four shots of espresso. Let's just try it, see what it tastes like first. I might not drink it all. Look, listen, I've got quite a high tolerance to caffeine, guys. I do drink like a few cups of coffee a day. Not as strong as this though, but... So yeah, I'd have to say, just like a very, very strong coffee, like nothing too crazy about it. Definitely a good flavor, definitely got a good flavor. Very rich. So yeah, guys, I don't know if I'm gonna finish this, but it, just, it does taste good. It's gonna give me definitely my morning little kick that I need. This is, I actually already had one cup of coffee already, so maybe I shouldn't finish this, but you know, I'm doing it for the content, y'all. So guys, we're in the heart of the East End of London, very famous area, Bethel Green, quite near Whitechapel, quite near Hackney, right in the thick of it here, guys. It does look quite hood around it, but it's it's very gentrified, very uh, hipsterish around there. So, you know, typical, typical these type of areas, really.
I want to kind of... Guys, I'm a little bit annoyed actually because it's a German doner kebab, which is um, a chain that's just started popping up everywhere. I actually had it in Abu Dhabi. We drove past it last night in the taxi, and I was like, oh, what a shame. You know, we weren't going to be stopping the taxi to get it, but there's actually one like, right here. We could have got it yesterday. I didn't realise it was a German doner kebab, so... I don't know, we'll see, let's see what, um, what they've got up here, but maybe on the way back I could get something, if I'm still hungry, if I'm in the mood. Aurora. Look at that. That's like Aurora's dream cake right there, isn't it? A cake with a doll sticking out the top. Just dash the coffee in the bin, guys, because Shazzy here is just giving me a bit of a hard time about it. Oh, babe, you should not, came, babe, you should not be drinking all this coffee. It's like she thinks it's some sort of crack or something. But all right, I know you just, I know you care. The coffee's gone in the bin; it's gone, so you don't have to worry. I'm not going to be like. Well, I might be still I was drunk over half of it so I might still be like that but I say there's at least a shot that I left in that cup and chucked it in the bin so it feels like it's kind of a waste of money but it was only £3.30 in fairness it's not not a lot of money not as much as a Starbucks anyway so Just pulling up on the famous Brick Lane. Um, we're right near the bagel shop that I wanted to try, and it looks to me like there's a huge queue. So so here is. I'm gonna go for salt beef. Sorry? Just plain water with some butter in it. Or do you want some cheese in it? So I've got a famous salt beef bagel from the Brick Lane Bakery. Look at that. So we've got some slabs of salt beef, some pickles and mustard. There it is. I haven't had one of these for years. I used to get these like when I was younger. But first time in a long time that I've had one. Let's go in. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. Babe, you've got to try this. I can't. Well, Sharon won't try this. I can't. It's very salty beef. It's quite tender. Well, I say tender, it's not actually that tender, but that's how it's supposed to be. It's kind of, it's a little bit chewy, but we've got pickles, mustard. It's simple, it's basic, but it's but a staple of East End food it. right here. What's that, Aurora? It's hard to bite it. Is it nice though? Yeah? Better than the New York bagels? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? Is it better, is it? I can't really tell you what's special about these bagels, other than the fact they're just literally freshly made in there. Everything's like freshly cooked. As you can see, it's Dad. literally like a conveyor belt of people going in and out, but it's very hours. quick, even though the even though there's always a long line, it's 24 hours. So I've come here when I was younger, like three in the morning, there's been queues out the door. So this place is always busy, but they're very quick and efficient. It's just literally like a production line. So if you ever come to London, I recommend this. So I just want to ask a question. So I, I noticed there's that one there, and then there's a bagel shop over there. So is that the same one? No. It goes down. So how come? I don't know the exact story, but someone thought it'd be a good idea to set up a bagel shop next door. So these are separate businesses. I think this is the original. Excuse my mouthful. That's the original. That one opened up after. So, but they've got Britain's first and best bagel shop. Maybe I'm getting that wrong. Look, listen. If you guys know the story of the two bagel shops, let me know in the comments. Beef. That's beef. That, that one, I believe, is closed down though. Oh really? Yeah. So I think this is the only one left. It's giving me Lidl and Aldi vibes. Lidl and no, Aldi. no, no, like the, the competition. Like there's always, next to a Lidl, there's always an Aldi. Yeah. For some reason. Basically, it was someone's bright idea to set up next door. And I'm, 
stomp out the competition, but obviously this is the one that lasted, but it's a damn good bagel, guys. There you go. It's not too salty that it's yucky. <laughs> it's just the right amount of salty. And I love my pickles, I love my mustard, so it's simple, it's good food. Nine out of ten, guys, nine out of ten. Brick Lane Bagel. Thanks, I'm Ross Jonas, sir. Want to rate yours out of ten? Uh, 9 out of 10. Ooh. Oh, it's quite chewy. Is it nice? <laughs> it got butter all over you. So, if you've been out drinking and you want to soak up the alcohol, what's better than a bagel? Dense bread. That's good. Great, you guys. If you're ever in London, try it out. Try mine out, guys. It's really good. If you're a plain person, you should try mine. It's just got cheese and butter in it. I like uh, And they're very shouty in there. Are they? Mm. They're like, everyone move around, blah, blah. <laughs> they're quite militant with their production line. They want it to That's move why it works. slippy and efficiently, but it works. That's why it works. It's got like a one-way system. It's got what? It's got, it's got like a system. Yeah. That's good. So that mustard's just kind of starting to tingle my nose. That mustard is quite hitting when you get to the bottom of the bagel where all the mustard collects, but that was good, that was good. Aurora's still eating her. She says it's the best thing she's ever eaten. Best bagel. Oh, best bagel, my bad, my bad. From what I remember, this end of Brick Lane is more kind of vintage shops. Um, yeah, thrift stores, obviously you've got the street market going on. I think as you walk, walk further down towards Whitechapel, that's where all the famous like Indian curry houses are. So there's miles and miles of curry houses as well coming up. But it's pretty cool, guys. It's... Guys, we found this little alley with a lot of wall art and it leads up to uh, the, the railway bridge so I'm just going to go and see what kind of visuals we can get and sorry guys if there's any interruption of audio it's very windy out here today so that'll be why if my voice is going you know what wind sounds like guys you don't need me to explain but check this out guys There's a beautiful view of the city there. Some photo shoots going on down there. Go, go, go. You go, girl, you go. <laughs> oh, who's this? He's just coming up to see me, do a bit of train spotting. Yeah, it's very cool, I love all this kind of stuff, wall art. It's kind of grimy, but I love this. It's a character, this brings guys, character to a place. Guys, sometimes on wall art, people can write swear words. Aurora doesn't like swear words, which is, which is good. She picks up on the swear words and she's like, no, I don't like that. You shouldn't be doing that. So guys, when I used to come around here when I was younger, I used to walk past this jewellery shop and literally just look in the window, dream of the stuff I can buy from it. It's the famous Trotters Jewellers. Have a look at this place. Check out all the Belcher, look at those chunky Belcher chains, 2,500. Rolexes. Oh, that's real stuff. Yeah. Cartier. Oh, it's open. you got a bell to get in, though. Oh, 
Would you say I should go and drop a bag in Trotts Jewelers? Yeah. Do you know though? It looks a little bit different from. They used to have like loads of the real like long, naughty chains, but like tons of them. Yeah, I mean it would have been the noughties. Like last time I went round there, it would have been the noughties. But yeah, like just had literally loads and loads of long, like thirty-inch chains, like yeah, white gold, rose now, gold. It, they do diamond, but it's like. They're it, pearls now. That's that's basically where the gangsters of the East End go to get their jewellery trotters, or used to go. I don't know if it's still the same thing, but. The men are wearing pearls now. When they're wearing pearls, yes, they are wearing pearls. That's right. I'd probably rock pearls if you let me. But well, I don't know. I'm not sure about the pearls. But yeah, I kind of uh, kind of gutted about this. I don't really feel like eating now about a bagel, but I do kind of. I would have wanted one of them last night, but oh well, it's right. We'll probably get one in Bristol soon, so. So that is a wrap for London. We're actually driving back home now. Third weekend in a row going to London. So next video you see is definitely going to be back home in Bristol. At least I got to bring you guys, show you guys around the East End of London a little bit. Hope you enjoyed the visuals. I certainly enjoyed wandering around this morning. You know, the sun shining is quite nice and quiet, but the family wanted to get home. So, you know, sometimes you've got to do what's best for the kids. It's definitely time to go home. I'm actually looking forward to getting home and actually having a weekend at home next weekend because yeah, this this road life. We've been on tour, haven't we? It's like DMO it World on tour. It does feel like we're on tour. It feels like we're on tour, so I'm looking forward to just staying at home next weekend. But guys, there's actually another video over on DMO World where it's a little bit more London content from what we filmed yesterday. Please go and check that out. It should be out by the time you watch this video. So go over to DMO World if you want more London content. And yeah, we've had a good time. And it's time to go home, guys. Appreciate you all for watching. Once again, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check out all of my other videos. Guys, I still need more views on my Miami videos. You guys need to check out my Miami videos if you haven't done so, so far. That's like my pride and joy of this channel so far. So please check that out. But anyway, it's time to go home. I'll see you guys in another video soon. Thank you guys for watching. The end.